Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Node.js full tutorial series for beginners. This is part 9 and in today's episode, we are going to learn the most critical piece of writing any JavaScript or Node.js application, which is creating custom modules. Without modules, your application is messy, tangled, and it's not professional code. If you are serious about writing um, applications which are to scale, which are to be reused, writing custom modules is the way forward. Welcome back friends. I'm your host. My name is Sridhar and this is part 9 of the Node.js full tutorial playlist. I have planned around 25 tutorials for you on Node.js to help you master and get hands on with Node.js. All right, so this is the part nine of the series. Uh, make sure you have gone through the previous episodes because uh, there is a continuity in learning. So make sure you follow each uh, tutorial closely and carefully. All right, so in the previous episode, we learned what is a module. Module is a simple or complex functionality organized in a single or multiple JavaScript files, which can be reused throughout the Node.js, right? So creating modules or writing modules is nothing but writing like JavaScript libraries. Right, which can be reused across different applications or different teams. We also touch based upon list of built-in modules. We have briefly touched on it. We will cover that again in chapter 14 when we cover core modules. For your understanding, just this is a partial list of built-in modules. Uh, we also learned how to include the built-in modules, right? So this is what we'll also continue our learning today in writing custom, creating custom modules. So we can create any number of uh, custom modules in Node.js. That can be for any context. A module can be a user, can be a product, can be orders, can be invoices, can be billing, etc., etc. Now, it's a best practice to always create modular functionality in Node.js. Do not mess up your code or by having, it's easy to write in one single file, but what will happen is it will end up becoming messy elephant at the end and it would be huge and you don't know which is where, what is where, right? We don't want that piece of code. Your code will never be approved for merging. Now, writing modules helps us in making the code easier to maintain, extend, and also helps in modular approach, right? Uh, modules and exports are two global objects which we are going to learn today, and they are the two most frequently heavily used global objects in Node.js, right? So I'm going to show you some examples on modules and exports. So this is some of the notes that you can refer later, but uh, let me show you the coding right away, right? So I'm going to take a brand new file, okay? Uh, it's It has got nothing in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this and say index2.js, right? Or let's rename this as app.js, right? So the way, how do I want it, right? So I want my architecture to be something like this. Um, let's say if we are already doing some logical pieces that we are writing. So I'm going to say I need my app here and I need some modules in it. Um, I'm going to say there is a user's module and there is billing, there is products, there is, um, then there is invoices and there is orders, right? And there is, um, you can, you can, you can say reviews, you can say uh, images, etc uh, etc et so see this is how you architect start architecting your code right and then you will have something called first you what we'll do we'll put one common folder right which will have all the common things then i'm going to add something called modules and these all will be my modules right so see this is how your application structure will start looking like so i have my app then i have my commons and then i have my modules Right. So this is how we will start looking. So let's say I am, I'm, I have to now create, a, I'll create a folder called modules, which is where I will keep all my modules. So I'm going to go here and create a new file inside modules and I'm going to call it say invoices.js. Right. So this is my app.js, which doesn't have anything obviously right now. So I have my module, which I'm going to create, which is called invoices. Right. So let's first go ahead and create an invoice. Right. So what I'm going to say here is I'm going to create a function and I'm going to say invoice invoices equal to and I'm 
and what is this function this function is called anonymous function right anonymous function and we have seen that in the previous episode so make sure that's why i keep insisting that you please uh, focus on learning in the previous episodes also so i've written an anonymous function and i'll say console.log and i'm going to say hello from invoices invoices modules right so this is invoices module now i've saved it now remember so if i want to call this method right if i want to call this method so if i just if i just call it like this it will work right now let's go ahead into app.js and i'm going to invoices is equal to require and here i'm going to give the path and say dot it's inside right so dot dot slash not up it should be down so i'm going to say modules slash invoices right so i've included the invoices and now the moment i run this particular file it will execute invoices because i'm calling the method here right method is called here okay so let's see that now node and then give the file name which is app.js run it it says hello from invoices modules right that means it goes to this file it will call this particular file and it will call the method right but now my criteria is i do not want this method to be called i want this method to be called here so i want to call something like this right now it says it's and invoices is not a function but it is a function which is used here right so if you are coming from um, say php world or something like uh, uh, if you are coming from php world right so you if you just include or require it will it will start executing that right it will start executing it should have shown the result but now it is saying there is an error there is an error because we have not exported it so carefully now pay attention here and carefully practice this because this is the topmost thing you would end up doing in your node applications you need in node.js apps so to export anything we will write module dot exports right dot name now a lot of people get confused what is the name to be given right you can give any name you want now see here i am exporting it by this name i am exporting this method that's why i've given it on the right side and by what name it should export is in i can call it invoice i can call it my name you give any name to it right so it doesn't matter right you can give the same name that's a best practice so that it's easy to relate right so this is the statement which will allow your code to be exported right so now you have exported this right so what we'll do you have taken it in a variable dot invoices so now you can when you run it you will see the output and it should give you an output here it's clear okay so now it says hello from invoices modules because now we are calling using an instance and we can call this because we have exported it right remember friends this is the most important thing how do you export you export by writing module dot exports dot invoices or any name that you want to give and export this function in the app js you will use require and take it and call using this instance we'll call the method invoices right this is example number one right so remember this is example number one using module dot exports with a function that's what we just learned now i'm going to show you one more example right using module dot exports with a variable right now let's see that also so here now i'm going to create a new module and i'm going to add it here and i'm going to call it users.js right 
I've created one more module. And since I've added a module, what I need to do? I need to import it here, right? And I'm not going to give a variable. I'm just importing that, right? So here I have users. And here I'm going to throw in a variable. User active equal to one, right? Nothing major in this file. I've just added a variable and I've given user active equal to one. Now go to app.js and here print console.log user active, right? Now see, so it says one, right? You see here, it says one. Now let's do this. Now I'm going to say user active equal to zero, correct? So it will now print zero. But what if I want to print this value from users.js? right and there will be cases if you leave like this there will be clashes right there will be obviously clashes because the variable names can be same right so clashes with same variable names right so this will lead to lead to lot of problems in your code when you're working with large applications with multiple modules you will find some or the other person using similar kind of variables which are there in your code and it will end up messing all your code and maybe critical issues, right? So the best way to always use is always export the variable names. So you will say modules dot, sorry. Now here I'm going to say user active and then I'm going to say module dot exports dot user active equal to one, right? Now I've exported a variable, right? In the previous example, we have seen how to export a function, right? In the invoices.js, here it's a function. Now in users.js, we are exporting a variable, right? Now in app.js, what we'll do? We will assign this to a variable. And here, now we will write console.log user.useractive. So now see this should print, should print zero this should print one. See here, zero and one, right? So this is how you can access, you should access. This is the only way that you should define global variables. This is a best practice, practice to define global variables, which are reused, right? So remember, extremely important, you'll end up having a lot of issues if you don't export the things correctly. Now I'm going to th show you a third approach using module.exports with class, right? So, so far we have seen function, variable, and now we are seeing class. So let's go ahead and create a new module. You can, you can have it in the same module, but for your convenience, I'm putting it in different, different uh, in modules. So now you see how modular structure are built, how a, real applications are built. So I'm going to call something called orders.js, right? So now I have one more module. So here I'm going to define a class. I'm going to say orders. And here I'm going to say um, set order ID, right? Here I'm going to pass a ID. And here I'm going to console.log and say order ID received plus id okay i have a method and then i'm saying um you can you can basically write all your code here show orders um and you know view order etc etc so you'll implement your methods here in the in the particular class right you can also have some um variables right uh, so you can have variables, you can have functions in your class. Now, what you will do to export the class, we will write module dot exports dot class name, which is I'm saying orders equal to orders, right? So exporting the class module, right? Remember, now this is extra careful guys. Um, like be, be make sure that you follow this correctly. So I've, I've defined my class. I have a variable. I have few methods, right? This is a class. Now 
I am exporting using expo module dot exports dot. This is again can be any name. You don't want the same name. You can you can give any name that you like. Okay, make sure um, it's in sync with what you're using. So I have exported the orders. Now let's go to app.js. Let's again require which is import the file here slash module slash orders all right so now to call right to call we'll use orders right so it's a class right remember it's a class uh, now right uh, that we have exported so what we'll do we'll create an order name o equal to new because it's a class so i'm creating a instance right and I'm saying orders of class orders, right? So this is the same name that we imported here. It can be any name. I am not using orders. It will say, so just to show you, I'm using a different name, okay? This is the variable name, which has this particular file, which is imported. And in orders, you have the class name, which is orders, right? So you will write dot orders, right? Uh, let's go here, orders, so it's caps, right? That's the class name you have initialized. Now to call the method, you will say o dot, right? Now here, what's the name of the set order ID? Dot set order ID, I'll say 10, okay? So see, now this is a class, I am creating an object here object of the class orders right using new keyword that's important and then using the object which is O you're calling the method now let's run it it gives error let's see why my orders is dot orders is not a constructor right so uh, let's see why okay let's just debug it one second my orders dot orders is not a constructor. So let's see here. What's the class name? Oh, sorry. This is orders, right? So here it should be orders. Okay. So now you see here, it says order ID received 10, right? So this is exactly how we are setting a variable. We are set calling a method function. And now we are able to call a class, right? So go through this code again. Uh, practice this because this is the core basis of any Node.js application you will write in your um, job or you know career that you will end up. So you have learned very very important things today. One is how to arrange your code in modular approach, right? The second is how do you call module dot exports with a function, with a variable, and with a class, right? You have also seen how to use require right again once again and here you have seen how to call class how to call method and how to call variables right i hope this is uh, extremely helpful to you because this is the basis that we're going to write our applications if you have any doubts just let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you and answer any queries you have in the next episode i'm going to cover about shared modules yet another important concept when building uh, real-time applications so make sure you check it out as well. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you in the next episode.